Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm good. Okay, how was Very your day good. today? Um, it was good and in the afternoon, I went to enroll it again for the next modulo. Ah, okay, so you enroll already. Okay, which is good. Yeah. I think so. I just I just send the the, um, the paperwork email with I yeah I don't know what they're gonna say tomorrow maybe okay don't worry we still have a week right yeah <laughs> so that is good that is good I just received the message yesterday that I have to enroll again. Ah, uh, okay. But it's good that you do it on time, okay? With enough, with enough time. How old is your baby? I have two. My girl is 10 years old and my little boy is three years old. Three years old. Oh, very good. Okay. And the girl is the one that you took to the United States. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was good. Okay. Yeah. Tell me something. Okay. Here, I, uh, did we finish this? Uh, did we finish this exercise? I don't remember. No, not that one. This one. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. We finished, right? We, we finished done. that one. Okay, so we yes, were yes, about yes. to begin yeah. the new one, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good evening, Lily. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, we miss you last night. Yes, teacher. Yesterday I can connect to the class because my internet is unstable. Unstable. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't connect. I couldn't connect. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. But now you are here now. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How was your day today? A good day. A good day. Very good. Very good. And thanks God, tomorrow no class. Okay. And yes. it's Friday. Yes. Do you work Saturdays? Uh, this this Saturday, yes. This Saturday, yes. Yes, because uh, my my son have uh, exams, the final exams. Ah, uh, your song has a final yeah, exam. Yes, it has. Ah, okay. Final exam. Okay, and you, Cindy, do you work uh, Saturday? Do you work Saturday, Cindy? Do you hear me? Do you work Saturday? Yes, I got to work. I work one Saturday and I have one off. Okay, one on and one off. One, one yes on and, and one, one off. off. Okay. Uh, another way to say that is I work every other Saturday. Yeah. I work every other Saturday. So that is one Saturday every, you work and uh, that is the one. correct pronunciation. Okay. Oh. Yeah. And you work on Saturday, teach? No, right now I'm not working Saturdays. But uh, before the pandemic, I used to work Saturdays and Sundays. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Were you in the in the other program? Oh, wow. Were you in the other INSA four programs? On weekends and no. or from no, six to eight in the morning. No, only online. Uh, no, I just, uh, this is my first time that I I am studying English here, so. No, this is the, your first. I never took class before. <laughs> so we had presential classes on the weekends from Saturday yeah. afternoons and Sunday mornings. Okay, so you have to go Saturday afternoon and Sunday morning. Okay, and for four weekends. And... Uh, also, they had a presential, the presential. And we had uh, from six to eight in the morning. And we also had from uh, 5.30 to 7.30 at night. And the online programs. Oh, two hours. Yeah, two hours. But uh, you see, wow. this is a, a, a little bit slower program, but um, it's good. When I did that test. Oh, yeah, what happened? Oh. What happened? Oh, when I did my test to apply to the program, they told me that, that, that I'm ready to be in the, in the media tree. Uh -huh. I didn't want. So you didn't want to. Okay, that is good because here you have the chance to review. Yeah. Yeah, it's better. It's better. Yeah. So I uh, to learn <laughs> have they told yeah. you have they told you how many intermediate courses you have to take? Course three. That will be three, I think. Three intermediate, and that's all. Good evening, Eleonora. How are you today? Why? The, 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 the. I don't know. I don't know because this is only one hour and there's supposed to be more. But I don't know. I am, this is the first time that I'm teaching in online, online programs. I have teach online, but the, oh. with, the with the two hours uh, program, okay? From Monday to Friday, oh, okay? okay? But yeah, they, is, they told me, they told me intermediate one, two, and three. Intermediate one, two, and three, and then advance. And then pre-advance. Ah, pre-advance. You will be ready to pre-advance. So I was like, no, I want to retrasarme. Yeah, like, I, want, I want to go to be uh, backwards. <laughs> good, good evening, Eleonora. How Back. are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, teacher. How are you too? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? I I am tired. I I have many many work. Uh -huh. I had too much work. Now. <laughs> I had too much work. Too yes, much. yes. Okay. I have too much work. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, Tatiana. Yes. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I am fine. Okay, very good. Now we're going to start with U4 because it is already 802. Okay, so let me share. Okay, and I send it to, I send this material to the WhatsApp page by page, not in a file, page by page. So here we go. Can you see it? Okay, so yes. use the words in brackets to put each of the following into either the past simple or present perfect. Okay, 
So let's see who wants to start. Who wants to start this? So this is Jim talking, okay? What is he asking? Many. Yeah. Complete, remember, complete. How? How Simple many? pass or How many present? times do you try to pass your driving? Okay. Remember, is there a connection with the present? Yes, right? Because he yes. can still try again. So I will, and look at the answer three times so far. So what will be the question again? How many times? Oh, I didn't see the answer. <laughs> <laughs> How many times? Have you? Have you? Have you? Have you tried? Tried, tried uh -huh, to pass. To pass the driving, driving test. test. Right? How many times have you tried to pass your driving test? Now, Michael says three times so far. Now, number two. What do you think is the correct question? When did you go to Rome? When did you go to Rome? That is correct. Rome. And when we have a question with when, the answer is a specific uh, oh. time. So that has to be with simple past. Okay, very good. Great. Now we're going to go with Brenda. What is number three? It's a question. Um, you look different. You look different. You, you have a haircut? Uh -huh, but it's a question. It's a question. You did have. No. How is the question? Let me show you. Question. Yes, what is the question? Remember mm. questions in the How? simple past? No. Questions mm. in the simple past? Let me see. Yes. Can you see the screen? Yes. Yes, okay. Ah, uh, but it's not this one. Okay, hold on. Well, this one we already finished, so we are not going to work on that one. Okay, so hold on. Good evening, Ivan. Good evening, Maria. Good evening, Linda. Good evening, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good very evening. good. Now, let me get to you, okay? Uh, Okay, so here we have how to make questions in the past, Brenda. Do you remember this? Uh -huh. So it plus the pronoun plus the member. So let's go back and okay. um did did you did you look different haircut? Okay, no, you look different. This is what you are going to ask. Did, uh, did you did you did have you, a uh -huh, exactly did you have did you have uh -huh. uh -huh. did you have right did you have a haircut? Okay. Is that clear? Yes, yes. Yes, did you have a haircut? Okay, and remember the main verb on a base form because did is already telling us that we are in the past. Uh, okay, very good. Eleonora, number four. Um, um, I, I haven't so David uh, this week. Okay, it's okay, it's present perfect, 
But what is the past participle of C? Uh, okay. sin. Remember, do you sin. have your list sin. of verbs? Yes, yeah, sin. sin. So have the, your list of verbs available so you sin can David. check. Okay. I David. haven't seen David all, at all this week. I don't okay. even know where he is. Okay, so that is correct. Mm -hmm. It is okay. correct when you say I I didn't see him. David. No, because remember when we have expressions such as this week, oh, okay. the week hasn't ended. Is that clear? Oh. Yes, thank you. Oh, so that's why we have to use present perfect. Okay, very good. Uh, who is next? Uh, Lily. Um. And look, you have this word right here. So what do you have to do? You... It's a question. It's a question. Um, I don't remember this. Okay, so it's present perfect because we're using this word yet. So, have, have you spoken? Uh, have you spoken to Peter? Present perfect because that is a question that connects with the present. Okay, have you spoken to Peter? Okay, yeah. Michael, no, not yet. Okay, let's see who's going to be next. Maria, when? When um, is a question, teacher. It's a question, that is correct. The start of your, your job is uh, when you start your job. Okay, it's in the past. But how do we make questions in the past? Uh, did. Uh -huh. When you did, when you did start when your did job. You, when did you start your job? Your job, yes. And because we have did, the verb goes on its base form. Okay. When did you start your job? Okay, Guillermo, number seven. Number seven. And I moved. Ha uh, I have moved house three times in the last five years. Exactly, and probably he might continue moving. So I have moved house three times in the last five years. That is correct. So he moves a lot, and he might continue moving. Very good. Number mm -hmm. eight, uh, Irving. Hello, hello. Uh huh. Number eight. Number my sister. Uh, gone. To, Perdón. <laughs> to New York three times and she's going again next month. Uh huh. So probably we have to say my sister. Has been has to been. New York three times, and she's going okay. again next month. So she continues, right? Okay. So there is a connection with the present. Okay, Cindy. Uh, the U.S. president. <laughs> Was in our country last year. Was in oh, our where? country last year. That is correct. Okay, simple pass. Very good. Simple pass. Okay. Let's see, Tatiana. What about number 10? Okay. And the uh, US president visited our country three times in the last two years and he probably continues so what are we going to use in this one tatiana sorry okay 
the U.S. Um, president three times in the last two years. Oh yes, and the U.S. president visit is the has visit. Uh -huh. Has has visited has visited our country. Has visited our country three times in the last two years. Very good, very good. Okay. The next one, uh, Linda. Hello. Number 11. Uh, this is my house. How long have you lived here? I live here since 1997. Uh huh, but because everything since. Because I am using since 1997, probably I have to say, I have lived. Okay. I have lived here since 1997. And probably okay. you are going to continue, right? Okay, so present perfect. Uh, okay. okay. Let's see, uh, Carla. Uh, I have a question for the number. 11. It's, Number 11, yes. Uh, it's okay if I use I was lived here or, or no? It's, it's okay. Or... It's okay if you use simple past. It's okay. But it's better because you use sense. So that means, and that gives you the sense that you are going to continue. Right? <laughs> But if you use, I live here since 1997, so that means that the action was finished in the 1997. Okay. So when you say, this is my house, you're talking about now. And you see the question, how long have you lived here? And you see, how long have you lived here? I, live, I have lived here since 1997. So I think this is the best answer. Okay? Okay. Very good. Number, Number 12, Carla. He lived in London for two years. And then he he has no, he went hmm. he went to Edin, Edinburgh. And then he went to Edinburgh. You remember that we talk about sequence. He lived in London and then he went to Edinburgh. So that is a sequence of series of events. Okay, so both in the simple past. Very good. Maria Hernandez, number 13. When I left school, I cut my hair and wore it short ever since. And wore it short every since. That is correct. You see? Ah, let me see. Not here. When? Okay, and wore it. And wore it short every sense. That is correct because here it says, when I left school. And that action happened in the past and ended in the past. So it's correct. Number 14, let's see. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what is ever since? Ever since, the, the entonces. So. Uh, okay. Okay, very good. The, the entonces. Okay, very good. Uh, Ivan, number 14. Shakespeare wrote a lot of plays. Yeah, wrote a lot of plays. And because he's dead, it's not a chance that he can write any more plays. So yes. he died, simple pass. Okay, very good. Now let's see. Let's start again. Tatiana, number 15. Okay, um, my mother wrote several plays. He has just finished his latest. Uh -huh, he has just finished his latest, okay? Now, 
Because he is alive, because he is alive, we can say, my brother has written. I'm written, okay. Has written several plays. Why? Because he's still alive. He has just finished his letter. Probably he's going to write another one. We don't know, right? So there is a connection with the present. So you can say he has written several plays. It's better. Okay? Okay, teacher, I have a question. Yes. In the number 13, why uh, is simple past? Okay. Uh, let, let me check. Okay, maybe here you are right. Maybe here we can... She has worn. She has worn it short ever since. Yeah, because since that time to now, she has been wearing the, her hair short. So you are correct. It's better present perfect. Because there is a connection with the present. Okay. Okay. Very good. Now, uh, Tatiana, you didn't finish. Number 15. Oh, yes. And uh, haven't seen okay. him for three years. I haven't seen him for two years. For two years. Right. Okay. I wonder where he is. <laughs> uh -huh. I wonder where he is. I haven't seen him for three years. Okay, very good. Maria Reyes, number 16. 16. 16. He, he has not smoked for two weeks. He has He's trying for two weeks. Very good. He's trying to give it up. He's trying to give it up. He's trying to yes. quit smoking. So he hasn't smoked. There is a connection with the present. Real good. Yes. Uh, Maria Hernandez. Who was this? Maria Reyes or Maria Hernandez? Miss Maria Reyes. Maria Reyes. You did number 16, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Maria Hernandez, number 17. Shopping. Shopping, composed. Song, song of his music in Major, Ma, Mallorca. Exactly. So Japan composed some of his music in Mallorca. He's already there, dead. So he's not composing anymore. Okay, next. Um, Ivan, number 18. Yes, it says... When did he arrive? When did he arrive? That is correct. That he arrived at two o'clock. Uh -huh, exactly. And remember, when we have a questions with when, that is simple past because he's asking for a specific time. Very good. Guillermo, number 19. I read uh, his books when I was at school. I enjoyed them very much. I enjoy them very, very much. Exactly. Okay. Because that when you were at school. Okay. In the past. Very good. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Cindy, who was this? Guillermo or Irving? Guillermo, right? Yes, I, I already read the okay. 19. Okay. Very good. Uh, Irving, number 20. Okay, I can't go out because uh, I didn't I didn't finish my work yet. Okay, I didn't finish or I haven't finished. I haven't. Finished. I haven't. I haven't finished. Uh huh. Okay, very good. I haven't finished my work yet. Okay, so that is very good. I haven't finished my work yet. Okay, very good. 21. Uh, Cindy? 
I have never drunk whiskey well how song now. I have never drunk whiskey. Let's have some now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't we didn't know that the part of you, Cindy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know already. <laughs> now, Lily, 22. Here are your shoes. I... I have cleaned them. Uh-huh. Here are your shoes. What happens when we talk about something that we have done recently? Recently. We said that we can use the present perfect, right? Or we can use the simple past. Uh-huh. So I I have just clean. Yes. Cleaned. Oh. I have just cleaned them. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. now it's okay if I say I just cleaned them. It's okay. But remember that we say we can use present perfect to talk about actions that have happened recently. Okay. okay. Now continue, Cindy. I left home. Are you? Okay, let me see. I left home at 8 a.m. and I got here at 12 p.m. I got here at 12 p.m. And? Meeting him last June. I? I met him. Because it says last June, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's simple past. So I met him okay. last okay. June. Okay, number 23. Lily? Did you see the moon last night? Did you see the moon last night? That is correct because the action finished last night. Did you see... The moon last night. Very good. Great. Okay, next. Maria Reyes. Cervantes wrote Don Quixote. Cervantes wrote Don Quixote, that is correct. Because he's already dead, he cannot write anymore. Okay, Carla Rodriguez, number 25. He broke his leg in a skin accident last year. He broke his leg in a skiing accident last year. Okay, any questions? Not this year. Are you oh, sure? Teacher. Okay, so remember, this is about, okay, thinking what happened, okay, is the action or has the action finished in the past or is still continuing into the present, okay? So simple past, the action finished in the past. past uh, present perfect, the action started in the past and still continues into the present, okay? Now, Adverbs of sequence. This is the next topic. Okay, from section number four. Okay, so let's see. We use adverbs of sequence to describe the order in which things happen. We often use adverbs of sequence to tell a story, write a recipe or give directions. Adverbs of sequence almost always come at the beginning of a sentence 
and are followed by a comma. This is important, right? They are followed by a comma, okay? First and next can also go at the end of a sentence. Now, adverse of sequence also describe time. We use adverse of sequence to describe the order in which things happen. We often use adverse of sequence to tell a story, write a recipe, or give directions, okay? So that is basically what, what we have seen. And they are always, they come at the beginning of a sentence and are followed by a comma. So take a look at this. Before breakfast, okay, you should clean your room. After lunch, I go to the shop. First, do your homework. Second, wash the dishes. Third, walk the dog. Next, read to your sister. Finally, you can relax. Okay, so what is the adverb of, of, of sequence right here in the first sentence? Before, antes. Ah, very good. Before is the adverb of sequence. In number two? Después, after, after después. After, after, right, after. And the third one? First. Uh, como primeramente. First, right, first. first. Then? Second. Second, second, second is the other second. second. Third? Third. 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 If there are more steps, if there are more steps, you can say fourth, fifth, and etc. Or you can go next. 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 Right? Next. Then you can also oh, yeah. use then. Then, and at the end, we use final. Finally. Finally. Okay? You can relax. So when we are describing a story, or we are describing an event, or Be describing sure. a recipe, we can use adverb sequence to show how the sequence is going. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Clear. Okay. So, sure. yes, sir. It's okay. Uh, use the also and as well. Yeah, also. Uh, furthermore. 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 Yeah, more as over. Well. More Moreover. over. In addition. In addition okay. to. Yes, all of them show that is a sequence. Okay. Now. Uh, okay. Now, moreover, also. And uh, in addition, they show uh, they show addition, okay? But this one, they show sequence. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Okay, so it's better if, if you are going to talk about the sequence, it's better to use these ones. And if you're going to talk Okay, what else can you do? Then you can use in addition, moreover, foremost, uh, in addition, also. Okay? Hello? Okay. 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 Now, okay. The, we said the first and next can also go at the end of a sentence. For example, here, do your homework first. Like in this case, do your homework first. Read to your sister next, or next, read to your sister. So those two can go at the end of the sentence. Now, take a look at this. Then can be used as an adverb of sequence as well as an adverb of time. Then is no followed by a comma. So if you are going to use then, you are not going to write a comma. Are we clear on that? Yes. yes Example, then you mix everything together, like in a recipe. When you pronounce it 
You use the comma, but you don't write it. When no, then you mix, then you mix everything together. No, you're talking about the pause, la pausa. Uh -huh. Uh, no, not, not necessarily. Then you mix everything together. Not necessarily. Okay. Okay. And also at the end, right? We will graduate then. Okay. So here, let's see. Let's try to make a sequence. What do you do first? Chop vegetables. You cook rice, you heat a pan. Or you chop vegetables. Vegetable. No, no, tell me, no, tell me. What do you do first? Tell me the, the tell me the advert of frequency. I chop vegetables first. Uh-huh. Chop vegetables oh, first. first. Oh, first, chop vegetables. And then first cook rice for me. No, no, no. First cook rice. You are going to put rice, okay? And you are going to put vegetables like carrots. You are going to put onion. You are going to put, I don't know what else, ah, peas. So what do you do first? You prepare? First chop vegetables. Uh, first chop vegetables, then? Then cook rice. Then heat a pan. Before you cook the rice, you heat the pan. And then you cook the rice. I don't know, I'm not a cook. <laughs> <laughs> but but I want you that you practice, that you practice. So first chop, first chop vegetables, then cook the, then heat the pan, and then cook the rice. Chop first chop vegetables, next heat a pan, and finally cook the rice. Do you understand? Yes, yes. yes. Okay, yes. now what do you do second? Eat, eat, a pan. eat a pan. Second, then. Second, eat a pan. Uh, eat a pan. Okay, so first, chop vegetable. First. Next, then, eat a pan. Eat a pan. And, finally, and then oh. throw garlic in the pan. Right? Throw garlic in. Okay, now the third one. What do you do third? So oh. here, chop vegetable oh. first. Heat up a uh, second, heat a pan, and third, throw garlic, throw garlic, throw garlic, in. garlic, in. Throw garlic, garlic in. in, throw garlic in, very good. Okay, now what do you do fourth? Add rice, add vegetables. Okay, but tell me, fourth, 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 fourth add, add, add vegetables, fourth, add, add vegetables. okay. Okay, very good. So here, so here is that is not the order. So here only first chop vegetable. Second, heat a pan. Third, throw garlic in. Fourth, add vegetables. What do you do last? Add uh, rice. Add uh, rice. Last add uh, rice. Right. Last, right. Okay, very good. Now here. Okay, this is the same one, okay? So choose the correct answer, okay? So now I will let you do this one. Okay, Jill, you forgotten already, okay? What do yes. you see? There are two, two options. I mean, you have three options. So the first one will be? First. 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 First then. No, no, no. Read no, it. Read it. You forgot then. it already. Read everything. Read everything, please. You forgot it already. You forgot it already. Okay. First. 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 Okay. First. First. You need to cook you the rice. To cook the rice. rice. Then. Then. Cook next. While it's cooking, while it's cooking, you can, you can chop vegetables. Vegetable. After that, after, after that, that, 
Vegetables, that is correct. Vegetables. What else? Questions about vocabulary? A steering. A steering, right? A steering. Okay, yeah. now, wait. A steering. Okay, I show you what is a steering, okay? Okay. Okay. Man, yeah. Okay, so this is steering. Can you see what is a steering? Yes. 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 Now you can steer your soup, you can steal your coffee, you can steal the vegetables. Told lote. <laughs> Maybe a told the lote, you can you can steer it. Okay. Look at this. A big, a big bowl. Of soup. Yeah. Okay, a big bowl of soup, you can steer it. And you can steer a drink too, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you are a bartender, steer it real well, okay? My cocktail, please. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Now, let's move on. Okay, so the next will be... Okay, now choose the correct answer. Let me see in this one. I don't know if it is the same exercise. Ah, this is different, okay? It's the same paragraph, but in different locations, okay? So Mike says, so Jill, how do you make the fried rice again? So can you tell me? And these are the options that you are going to use now. Can you see? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's start reading. You forgetting already? You forgetting already? Already. First, you need to cook the rice. Then wash it and chop the vegetable. Second, heat some oil. Heat some oil in the pan. Wait, wait, so while it's cooking, you can chop the vegetables. Yes. Uh -huh. After that. After so that. After that. that oh, after oil that. In Eat the some pan. oil in the pan. Go ahead. Throw in the chopped garlic. The chopped garlic. The chopped garlic. Oh. Then you no can chopped. 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 Garlic. Shop. Garlic. Shop. Garlic. And you then can, you can add, add the vegetables, vegetables and finally the and rice. After and finally finally the rice. The rice. And don't okay. forget, don't forget keep, keep stirring as you add everything. You add and don't everything. forget keep stirring as you add everything. Okay, very good. Now, we are going to reinforce something that we still need to pay attention to it. Okay? Remember okay. the list of verbs? Did I send you? Yes. Yes? Do you have it in hand? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, let me show you something so you can uh, have a better pronunciation, okay? All these are irregular verbs, okay? But at the end, At the end, you have regular verbs. Okay, so here, all these verbs that you can see here, the pronunciation at the end is id. Okay, repeat after me, accept. 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 Accepted. 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 Count. Count. 
Count. Count. Count. Count. Count. Count. Count. Count. Count. Count. Expected. Intend. Intend. Intended. Intended. Need. Need. Needed. Needed. Plant. Plant. Planted. Planted. Okay, and all these verbs are going to have pronunciation it. Okay? Now, Okay. We have this other set of regular verbs. Now, the pronunciation of this one is like in T. Asked. 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 Cook. 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 Dance. 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 Dress, 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 dress. Tiene que sonar esa T. Dressed, dressed, erased, 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 erased. Finish, 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 finish. Help. 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 Jump. 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 Like. 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 Miss. 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 Push. 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 Pushed. Pushed. Okay. Walk. 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 With T, right? So all of those, Walk. all of those verbs are pronounced with T at the end. Now we have this other verb, list of verbs, that the pronunciation at the end is D, like in the the. Answer. answer, 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 no, no answer, answer, don't pronounce the double, answer, 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 the. answer, the. answer the. the pronunciation is like when you say the, 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 answer, the, answer, the, answer, the. Answer arrive, 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 Belong, 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 change, 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 clean, 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 Blind. Close. Close. Closed. 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 Consider. Consider. Considered. Considered. Uh -huh. There. 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 Deliver. 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 Delivered. 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 Enjoy. 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 Enjoyed. 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 And all these verbs are followed by a D sound. Okay? So okay. go ahead and practice. Practice pronouncing the D, the T, and the I of the regular verbs. Okay? Remember, that D, that T, or that it is what makes people understand that you are talking about the past, 
Okay? Okay, very good. Now, let's go back to where we were. Okay, let me see. Sequence of adverbs. Okay, here we are. Okay, now let's complete the second, complete the sentences with the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. So go ahead, read number one, please. If you want to pass your exams, you sure. must study, study very, very hard. hard. Finally. Finally. Oh, finally. If you want to pass right. your exam, you must study very hard first. 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 Right? First, you have to study very hard and then you pass your exams. Okay, very good. Now, the next one, David. David, David woke, up woke up late, late. and, and then, then, then late he was late, late for work. 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 Uh-huh, David woke up late and then he was late and for work. Okay, the next one, Michael. Michael, Michael Parker. Finally, 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 the project the last week. The project last week. Michael finally finished the project last week. Okay, the next one. When? When you cook, when you cook vegetables, 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 you should wash wash them then first. First. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you cook vegetables, you should wash them first. Okay, the next one. James, James was for, for a week before he for a week before he he, he, he next, next went to the doctor. He, he then went to the doctor. He then went to the doctor. Okay, the next one. Tom, Tom and Sarah travel, travel a lot. lot. They there now where to work or go to work next. 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 They don't know where to go next. next. Right? They don't know where to go next. Okay. Very good. Now let's talk about okay. With this, we finish section number four. Okay. I don't know if you have worked on section number four. Most of you have done it, okay? I don't know, but by the end, okay, by this weekend, please complete all section number four. Have you, have, have all of you done the, the midterm? Have all of you yes. done the midterm? Yes. yes, yes. Okay, very good. And section four? Yes. 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 yes, you did too. Okay, so you are very good. Now, yes. let's wait until next week that we are going to start with, and let me show you so you can see. Okay, let me show you. Where we are. How many classes are considered in each section? Uh, well, it's supposed to be that uh, the five sections we were going to do in the four in the four weeks. Now, the only thing is that uh, depending on how difficult is the subject, that is how we extend more time on a section. Do you understand? Yes, one or two maybe. Huh? One like, or two, maybe. Yeah, like for example, did you see that we uh, that we had like four classes, almost four classes, with uh, with the present perfect and the simple past? Yes. Because that is a uh, you know a confusing subject, yeah. so yeah. it's better to practice, right? Yes. But uh, for Monday, let me show you. For Monday, I want you that you. That you get to this document that I send you, section five. You remember that document? Sure. Okay, yes, because yes. all next week we are going to be talking about future 
with will and future with going to. Okay? Could you so we're going to see again? future tenses. And then yes. I need you to prepare with this uh, material so we can be ready next week. Okay? Sure? Yes, sir. Could you send it again, please? Yeah, right now. Right now, I'm going to send it. Okay? Yeah. Let me let me close it because we are not going to use it today. We only have a couple of minutes, okay. but we are going to use it next Monday. Okay. So right now, okay. right now I'm sending it to your WhatsApp group. Okay. So you can see it right now that is there. We are supposed to to consider as well the five section, maybe five. Point one and five point two. Ah, one using will and one using going to. You mean? Uh, I mean the platform. Well, okay. Right now, I am in the. I'm getting in the platform. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, so I am in the platform. Let's see. Okay, course. Okay, so to group uh, eight to Okay, can you see in the WhatsApp group? I already sent. Okay, can you see it? In the WhatsApp group? I already sent. Okay. I already sent. Okay, in section number five, uh, let me show you. Okay. Okay, can you see here section five? Yes, 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 yes. Going, yes, sir. Going places, that's all. Okay? So it's only one topic, and then the final exam. So probably we're going to see this topic in the first two days, Tuesday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday, maybe you can take the final exam and it's still Thursday. If you have any question, we clear the question and you correct the final exam. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So you can have better grade. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any other questions? No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Okay. Very good. So we are going to stop right here. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I wish you that okay. you rest a lot. Thank you very much. Please continue working on the platform if you still are missing material. Okay? Okay, okay teacher. And Thank I will you. check you on Monday. Is that clear? Okay. Have yeah. a nice weekend, guys. Enjoy okay. it. Bye. Happy weekend, too, teacher. Thank you. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Bye -bye. Very good. Bye-bye. No, está ahí un co. Okay, bye bye. Bye.